It just seems like everything takes longer than it should. I felt like finding, purchasing, installing, electrical, AC, everything needed for your own environmental chamber would have been a couple weeks deal. Kenny, what if I told you it's taken months to get this thing purchased, moved, installed, electrical, and by the way, we still have months more of work. We have a list this long of things that we're buying, probes, sensors, voltage equipment, testing equipment, uh, any sort of equipment that an engineer could think of, we are purchasing for this thing so that we can have the most accurate testing industry-wide. What we want to do is take what the industry is doing, which is basically having the graphics department, say an air conditioner is 13,500 BTUs, and we are going to prove here what our air conditioners are, what they actually cool at, and our competitors. And here's why it's important, spending all this time and all this money and all this energy to install one of these things and get it set up. Air conditioners work better at different temperatures. If you took 10 air conditioners and you lined them up, one may be better at 70 to 75 degrees. The other one may work better from 80 to 90 degrees. The other one may work better from 90 to 120 degrees based on the humidity, based on a bunch of different factors, air conditioners can work differently. Let's not even get into the electrical. The electrical, what size wire are we running to the air conditioner? What type of wire? How much copper's in the wire? What quality of copper is in the wire? Is it stranded wire? Are you using an Anderson connector between your power source and your air conditioners? Are you using two power sources? What sort of fuses are you using? Are you using an inline fuse? Are you using a blue C breaker? Are you using cheap Amazon breakers? All of these things, as you go down the line, dictate how well that air conditioner works. Power from your battery bank may be at 13. By the time it gets up to your AC, it may, may be at 10.5. You may call me up and say, your air conditioner works terrible, sir. And by the time we do all of the, all the diagnosing, to travel the information back, it turns out that by the time your electrical system pushes out 13.5, it gets up there, you're at, let's just say 11, I don't have the right air conditioner for you. My air conditioners don't work great at 10.5, 11 volts. I would push you towards somebody else or I would have you increase the quality of your electrical system. Everything matters across the board. Our job here at Nomadic Innovations, the job that Kenny and I have decided to do, is to take all of this information, put it on YouTube videos, and publish it out to the world. What we are not going to do, and I implore you, Kenny, we will not do this. We will not sit in front of our Excel file. We will not make up graphs. We will not proselytize people so that they buy our air conditioners or that they buy something else based on nothing more than our good word in our, what's the word I'm looking for, Kenny? Like those other guys out there. What is it, the uh, misinformation? So what are we gonna do? is we're gonna show you exactly how an air conditioner operates under different conditions. How does it work between 70 and 80 degrees? How does it work between 80 and 90 degrees? How does it work between 90 and 100 degrees? How does it work at 11 volts? How does it work at 12? How does it work at 13? How does it work at 14? All the way up to 48, depending on what air conditioner you're using. How does it work with 15 feet of wire? How does it work with 30 feet of wire? All of these things matter. All of these things interact with your air conditioner. By the way, I haven't even got into humidity. Humidity is a whole nother thing. How does your air conditioner deal with humidity? The machine behind me, by the way, we can control the humidity. We can control the temperature. We can get this thing up to 130 degrees. We can get it all the way down to subs. We could have you in there freezing, Kenny, just shivering around. I know you don't like the cold weather. This machine allows us to control the temperature and it is the only way, and I mean the only way, to verify at what temperature and what conditions how your air conditioner operates. What we've learned is it has a lot to do with the programming inside of the board. You may have an air conditioner that when it's in sixth gear ripping down the highway at 120 degrees, it does great. That same AC 
may have challenges when it's 70 to 75 degrees because the compressor's too big, too powerful, which means that your control panel has to have logic built inside of it to handle the difference between 70 degrees and 120 degrees. And if that programming is not perfect, it doesn't matter if you have the best components in the world, the best electrical system in the world, it all comes down to your programming, which is what we're learning. This will allow us to give our customers the best experience possible. We'll know exactly what our air conditioners can do at what temperatures. And when you have questions about things, we can set up the system here to test those questions and give you real world results is all of our air conditioners are gonna get tested. They're gonna get tested on camera and we are gonna publish the results. They're gonna give you actual graphs. What's that thing in high school when you took science, Kenny? It's called the scientific method. And you tell the people how you did different experiments. Now there's other people out there on the old internet that didn't do anything with the scientific method. They basically made up a bunch of funny numbers and said, this is what the funny numbers are. But the difference between us and them is we have conviction. I'd say that we have serious, serious conviction. The information that we give out on YouTube will give you the customer or the future customer, the information, the real information, not the marketing hype, not the propaganda, gonna give you the information you need to make the best decision for you. We are not saying that Nomadic is the best decision for you. We want to give you the information of why we believe our air conditioners are the best. And if there's a downside, we're gonna give you the downside in these videos. We're gonna give you everything you need to know to make an informed decision for yourself so that you can go further in comfort, hopefully with nomadic cooling. Let's go. take you inside real quick. Let me turn it on for you. We turn this big old switch right here, gives power to the beast. We have two temperatures and one humidity. I'm just gonna turn on one temperature system right now. This third temperature system with the hydronic system currently is operating. We have to get another technician out here to go ahead and service this and get it certified to be running. This thing's pretty loud when it gets going, Kenny. Let's go ahead, take a look. We can go from 60 to 120 degrees just on the one system. What we have behind us here is an X3 12 volt. We've been working on trying to understand the cycling on and off at low temperatures. But we've had enough phone calls where people are unhappy with the cycling at low temperatures. No cycling at high temperatures, cycling at low temperatures. So what we've been doing here is we've been working on the test system to help quantify what the customer is seeing so that we can duplicate it. This isn't a final setup. This is gonna be two to three months for us to get this fine tuned and set up so it looks aesthetically pleasing, scientific grade. That's not what's going on right now. Right now we have it set up, we're in the trenches. We can get this thing to 120 degrees. We can look at our voltage. We can look at our signals that are sending to the unit. We can test all of the BTUs right here on Bluetooth. In the next few months, we will be able to test our air conditioners fully and other air conditioners on the market so that we can publish that information so customers will have the exact data that they need if the air conditioner is right for them. The customer will be able to look at price point, cooling capacity, reliability, customer service, for everybody out there in the marketplace. We want more people into this market. We wanna have more options for customers. Five years ago, there was nothing. This year, there's five. Hopefully, in the next couple of years, there's a few more other companies. And what we're gonna do here is keep raising the bar every year. We're gonna keep pushing to make our units better, which will push them to make their units better. Customers should be winning at the end of the day with a better, more affordable product. I feel like I gotta yell in here. This is the humidity system up here. This up here is part of the temperature system. When we get done with it, there'll be about 60 probes in here. Underneath us, you'll see this is the air return system here. 
so that the air comes all the way back into here, heated and comes back up, more probes. The amount of engineers that work at Nomadic now is pretty impressive from where we started. So by the time they get done spending all the money making this thing look beautiful, Kenny and I are gonna have some pretty good uh, content for you in the near future using this room. The second most impressive thing about this room is right now we're heating it and cooling it with its hydronic and heating systems right here through these big vents. The black van, we're gonna be pulling out the vortex system. Once we pull out the vortex system out of there, we're gonna install it into this room and we'll be able to control the heating and cooling of this room solely along with that vortex system on DC power. So not only will we be testing the air conditioners in here, but we will be able to control the environment temperature from our own vortex system using 48 volts DC power. That vortex system will turn this room into, I'm guessing, about 150 degrees Fahrenheit in not that long a time. I'm pretty excited to see that. Give us a couple months, tune back in, make this video one of the truth chamber. True chamber, the lie disposal unit, whatever you want to call it. Leave the name of the machine in the description. And you can't call it the boom boom room because that's what somebody else has already named it.